We finally made it to Osaka. Our plan now is to just walk around the area. Probably gonna aim to go to an izakaya so we can get a little bit of variety. Apparently we're in a good location, the Mercur. Mercur. In English it's Mercur, like Mercury without Oh, maybe it's Mercury. Mercury from <laughs> Why would it be Mercur? We only have tonight and then all of tomorrow. <laughs> the spot is just super local, I guess. There's no English menu. Jean spent like 10 minutes Google translating everything with the camera. Cheers. Oh, they Mmm. Soy sauce powder. Whoa. Mmm. Oh. We're doing a lot of walking today. They have English on their ticket machine. <laughs> Nothing in Asia seems to be open before 10 or 11, but thankfully this knife store in Osaka is open, so we're gonna go in and maybe get a new knife. A nice fancy dinner at Yakitori Ichimatsu, which is like a Yakitori omakase. memorable experience and the food was bomb. We just got to our hotel in Tokyo. I'll give you a little tour of our room. We're graced with this beautiful door, traditional door. And right here to the left, we have a bar. And then we enter the bedroom slash living area. <laughs> so I like how wide this space is. This door opens up into the magical bathroom. So much counter space on the sink and then a wide closet. <laughs> this, this is it. I'm slowly getting ready for dinner. Jean is actually out and about because I had to just get so much editing done. He's gonna meet me back here at the hotel and then we have a dinner reservation for omakase. <laughs>
Old Spanish Masters. I'm a free woman. I've been spending the last 20 hours editing. I stayed up till 5 a.m. last night trying to get this soul vlog out. It's now three and I'm finally free for the rest of our trip. <sighs> I feel like I already missed out on so much of Tokyo. Gene got to explore a little on his own while I was editing. So I'm a little jelly. I think today we're gonna try to pack in as much shopping as possible. I've bought a lot of nice staple pieces like a jacket and a bag, but I wanna get some everyday clothing. And I feel like Japan has a lot of cool stuff. So that is the goal for today. Before we head out, I want to show you my cool camera. This is a Super 8 film camera because I want to capture some video footage of Tokyo with this. I'm excited. It's going to be a vibe. around Shinjuku which is very wild a lot of tourists drinking and there's a bunch of really narrow alleys with six-seater bars and it looks fun but I actually don't feel too well so I'm not gonna be drinking today still cool to walk around I've been having some crazy abdominal pain for the past two days as well as a fever and chills. This is something I've never felt before or dealt with so I decided to just go to an English speaking doctor to maybe get some prescription medicine and see what's going on. A little update, we saw the doctor, took a blood test and a flu test. I came back negative for the flu, so no COVID or anything like that. My white blood cell count was apparently very high and something else, I can't remember what he said, but I have a bacterial infection in my stomach apparently. I got prescribed some antibiotics, so I'm just like relieved to have found a solution. <laughs> I'm actually glad we went to the clinic because I was a little hesitant to go out first. But it is a bit of a bummer because I didn't get to enjoy Tokyo and Jean has just been forced to do things by himself. I haven't eaten in over 24 hours because I just have no appetite. But Jean is out right now looking for some sort of porridge or soup. The battle scar. 
And now I'm just back in bed watching The Last of Us. Wait, that wasn't recording. Oh no. We're at Tsukiji Outer Fish Market, which is just outside of Tsukiji Market. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, this B-roll is sick though. It's our last day in Tokyo, like literally just hours before our flight. Um, this morning I feel much, much better. So we're here at Tsukiji Market, which is the place you need to be in Tokyo if you are into seafood. All the chefs and people in the restaurant industry get their seafood here early in the morning at like 5 a.m. It does get very, very crowded. We got here at 10.30 a.m. All the lines were already formed. So I would definitely recommend you come early maybe around like eight or nine probably eight right now we are at a spot called masa which is kind of hidden in an alley but we saw it on a couple of youtube videos and it's like this fried fish burger i can't eat much honestly but gene is going to do most of the eating Thank you. 